Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm teacher Roslina and I'm a MWET teacher teaching Form 6 in the historic city of Malacca. Today, I would like to share with you the introduction to MWET CEFR Aligned. Without further ado, let's get started. So what is MWET? MWET stands for the Malaysian University English Test. This test, as the name suggests, is an English language test that is meant for use in university level. MWET is a must for those who plan to enter university for the first degree programs. This is a language proficiency test. Proficiency means the ability and the skill that you have for something and in this case, the MWET test is going to measure your ability and your skill to use and to understand the language for the purpose of tertiary education. Meaning, it will test you on whether you are able to listen, speak, read and write in English in the context of higher education. You are required to have set for MWET and have with you the MWET certificate during your application into the degree programs. This test is conducted by the Malaysian Examination Council MEC or the Majlis Perpiksaan Malaysia MPM in BM. You can find anything and everything that you need to know about MWET on the MEC portal. So do go and visit this portal. MWET has undergone some major changes recently. Starting from the year 2021, MWET will come in a new format for all papers. This new format is what is described as CEFR aligned, which means that the aggregated score for MWET will be in line with the CEFR global scale. The changes would affect the paper in all aspects, namely the paper format, the time allocation for each paper, the scoring for all papers, the band used for the test, and the descriptors of user for bands awarded. I have another video that will focus on this aspect of MWET being CEFR aligned, so do check it out. So what are the MWET objectives? Firstly, it is to measure the English language level of students who intend to pursue the first degrees in university. So, before you can apply for any course, you would need to be of a certain level of language proficiency. And the MWET test is here to help universities to decide on the readiness of students who apply for certain courses in the university. That is basically to help universities to decide whether you are ready as a student to apply for courses offered. There are obviously certain courses that demand you to have a high level of English proficiency. You would need to fulfill the requirement of having the level of language proficiency needed before you are admitted into a course. This level of English proficiency is going to be measured and presented by the band that you would have achieved for MWET. Another MWET objective is to measure the English language proficiency of adult learners who need to use English in the workplace. So it's not just for students really. The test is also used for people who are already working specifically working in the domain of education and this would include teachers and lecturers for example. So what are the papers that you will be sitting for in the MWET test? The MWET test consists of four components. They are paper 1 which is the listening paper, paper 2 the speaking paper, Paper 3, Reading, and Paper 4, Writing. So, this is the language test that will test you on your four skills. You need to know that Paper 2, which is the speaking paper, is going to be held earlier on before the other three papers. 
So the first paper you are going to be sitting for will be the speaking paper. You will need to refer to your examination slip to determine on which day you are asked to come for your speaking test. Once you are successfully registered for MWET, you can download the examination slip from the MEC portal by typing in your IC number. The other three papers, which are namely the reading, writing and listening papers, are going to be held about a week or two after the speaking paper and it is going to be on a Saturday. So all the three papers will be held together with short intervals in between. It will start with the reading paper, the writing, and the last paper for the day will be your listening paper. So you would need to know these two dates that you will be sitting for the test and to remember them. Regarding the scores and bands in WET, the student's overall level of proficiency will be assessed using aggregated scores of 1 to 360 marks. 1 being the lowest mark and the maximum mark for MWET that you can get is 360 marks. We'll look more into this later on in this video. So what is going to happen is the marks that you get for listening, speaking, reading and writing will be added together for all four papers and the total marks for all the four components will decide which band you will be placed in. The bands are between band 1.0 till band 5+. Band 1.0 being the lowest band and 5+, being the highest band that students can achieve. Students must complete all four papers for you to be able to get your MWET certificate. If, for instance, you fail to sit for one test, you will not get your MWET certificate. So, when is MWET held? MWET is normally held three times a year. But during this not-so-normal situation with the pandemic going on, there have been some massive changes in the dates. There have been a lot of dates shifting and postponements of the tests happening. All these changes in the dates of the test could be found in the MEC portal. So as a teacher, I would like to advise you that once you have registered for MWET, you would need to visit this MEC portal often. This is so that you would not miss on the updates regarding the dates of the test. But like I said, on normal situation, MWET is held three times a year and they are the MWET Session 1, Session 2 and Session 3. Session 1 would take place in March or April, Session 2 in June or July and Session 3 will be in November. So how much is the MWET fee? The test fee differs for Malaysians and non-Malaysians. For Malaysians, the registration for MWET is going to cost 100 ringgit. The registration for non-Malaysians, on the other hand, is 350 ringgit. For the MWET on Demand, MOD, the registration fee is 250 ringgit for Malaysians and a whopping 550 ringgit for non-Malaysians. I will not talk about MWET on Demand in this video as there will be another video that focuses on this. So as you can see, MWET is not cheap. It's going to cost you a lot of money and what I can advise you here is for you to make sure that you are really ready when sitting for the test. You need to perform the best that you can and get the highest band that you can achieve the first time you sit for MWET and not to waste money on having to resit the test. One way you can achieve this is by watching videos like this to help you understand the papers better. And if this video is helping you in some way, then please click the like button and do subscribe to my channel because it is going to help me create more videos to help you do well in MWET.
Where can you buy the MEC PIN number? To register for MWET, you will first of all need a PIN number. You can buy the MEC PIN number these ways. First is you can walk in into Bank Simpanan National, BSN and buy the PIN number at the counter. Or the second way is you can buy the MEC PIN number using the BSN ATM machine that you can find at the bank. But the easiest way is for you to buy your PIN number online. You will need to log on to mypay.com.my slash web slash mpm. So let's now look at the MWET test components in greater details. As we know by now that the MWET test is made up of four components, which are the listening, speaking, reading and writing paper. On the left here are all the paper codes, 800 slash 1 for listening, 800 slash 2 for speaking, 800 slash 3 for reading and 800 slash 4 for writing. The duration for the listening paper is 50 minutes. So it's going to be quite long as it's almost an hour. The speaking paper will take 30 minutes. So both part one, which is the individual presentation and part two, the group discussion will be done within this half an hour. The reading paper and the writing paper will both take 75 minutes each, which is one hour and 15 minutes. So this here on the right, are the weighting of the papers. As you can see here, the paper has an equivalent weighting of 25%, meaning that all four papers have the same importance in the test. Let's now look at the MWET test scores. So these are the test scores for the listening, speaking, reading and writing paper. The maximum score for all papers is 90 marks. So the maximum marks you can get for listening is 90 marks, speaking 90 marks, reading 90 marks and writing 90 marks. So what will happen is that the marks that you get for all four components will be added up to a total that is over 360 marks, which is the maximum marks for MWET. This total is going to determine the band achieved. Looking at these four components, which components do you think that you can score in? You must have a skill that you can shine in. There are certain people that I believe are stronger in certain skills. For instance, if you think you can do very well in the listening paper, then make sure you can get very high marks for the paper. And if you think that your strength is in writing and that you can write very good essays, then do focus on this and make sure that you get a very high score for this paper. This is not to say that you can neglect the other three papers. Of course not. You need to work on all papers, but have a paper or two that you think you can really score in and then be really good at it. So let's now look at the MWET aggregated scores. Let's first of all start with the MWET bands. These here are the new MWET bands. MWET has undergone a lot of changes. As previously, the bands for MWET would be from band 1 to band 6. Band 1 being the lowest band and band 6 the highest band. But starting from this year 2021, the MWET bands are from band 1.0 to band 5+, band 1.0 being the lowest band and 5+, being the highest band. Let's now look at the categories of users. The users for MWET are categorized into three levels. They are the basic user, the independent user and the proficient user of English. Candidates who fall under the basic users are able to understand and use familiar everyday expressions in English. They are able to use basic phrases 
for certain basic needs like introduce themselves and to ask and to answer questions about personal details. The independent users are those who are able to communicate with a level of fluency with native speakers of English. They are fluent when they are speaking. That means they can use the language to communicate without much effort. The proficient users, on the other hand, are people who can understand a wide range of more demanding and longer texts. They are able to identify and understand implicit meanings. These implicit meanings are the underlying messages that are not written clearly but are implied and could be understood if you are a proficient user of the language. Another thing is proficient users can express themselves clearly, spontaneously and effortlessly. They are able to use the language flexibly and effectively in different aspects of their lives. These are such as for social interactions and for academic and professional purposes. Let's look at each of these levels one by one and their aggregated scores. A candidate with a total marks for MWET that falls between 1 to 35 will get band 1.0. The total marks between 36 to 81 will get you band 2.0 and 82 marks till 122 will get you band 2.5. These bands of 1.0, 2.0 and 2.5 categorize the candidates as a basic user of English. You do not want to be in this basic level. This is because you will most likely face difficulties to enter certain courses in university. However, some courses will admit you with these bands, but you are required to reset your MWET during your studies in university to get a minimum of band 3.0 to graduate. Let's now move on to the independent user. The candidate with a score of 123 marks to 163 will get band 3.0. The marks between 164 to 210 will get you band 3.5. The marks between 211 and 257 will get you band 4.0 and the marks between 258 to 293 will get you band 4.5. These bands of 3.0, 3.5, 4.0 and 4.5 are the bands that you will need to aim for. Most courses in university will easily admit you with these bands as an independent user. Although I might add that some courses would need you to be an independent user at the higher band of 4.5 to be admitted into certain courses. These are such as when you intend to pursue a law degree and a TESOL degree. A TESOL degree is the teaching of English as a second language. But then you will be expected to reseed for MWETs in university to get the minimum band of 5.0 to graduate with these degrees. Let's now look at the last category which is the proficient user of the language. You will need to get a total mark of 294 to 330 to get band 5.0. And you will need to achieve a total score of 330 to 360 marks to get band 5+. plus. This is the highest level band you can achieve in MWET and something that you can be really proud of. Both bands 5.0 and 5+, plus will put you in the category of a proficient user. This video ends here. I will see you soon in the next video.